welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. Oh, gosh. Why is it... This is this is the second episode in a row where I've opened and there's a bear. There's a there's a bear fall. Oh, there's a bear following me and Lydia up the up the mountain. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh boy. Fine. Now what is that? A wolf? Oh, for crying out loud. Are we serious right now? All right, yeah, let's just get this bear. Lydia and Shadow Mirror are doing work. There we go, it's dead. Search cave bear, is there anything good here? Bear claws, that's a unique, no, it's not a unique item. It's a, it's an alchemy ingredient. Uh, cave bear pelt and an elven arrow. Yeah, yeah, this is the second time I have we have started an episode, and uh, and we've been chased by a bear. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I am dressed right now. So, so um, in order to start the episode, I fast traveled to Markarth, and I ran here. And as soon as I hopped on Shadowmere, I'm like, "What am I wearing?" Ladies and gentlemen, we have we have dapper navens here this morning. I am wearing fine clothes, a fine hat, and fine boots. <laughs> I have no idea when I put these on, but I did. And so, yeah, here is here is this wonderful Dapper Navens right here with the bright red-eyed Shadow Mare. <laughs> I should probably put proper armor back on. Okay. And waiting for the discovery. There it is. Ark and Thams discovered. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do... We're going to do that side quest we got a good while back. I, bl I believe it's a side quest that came with the Dawn Guard DLC. It came with either Dawn Guard or Dragonborn. But it's a side quest that is called Investigate Arkanthams. And, and I don't remember if I've investigated this specific ruin or not. But I don't think I finished it. I know eventually, I believe, I believe this will lead to the Ethereum Forge. Which is something that that I don't think I've ever seen before in Skyrim. So yeah, this is something that I would love to do as we... As we go making our way... Um, well, okay, yeah, no, um, 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 this is something I would love to do before we, before we get on to our next... Our next big quest line, which, which I think our next big quest line, I think is... What was that? The entire world just shook. Is so needless to say, I'm outside of a Dwemer ruin at the moment. And 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 it's not as big as in or imposing as normally these Dwemer ruins are. Probably most of it's underground, and this is just an outside outpost. But yeah, let's head on inside. Open Arkanthams. Yeah, I was gonna say a minute ago that I think. Our next big quest line is going to be the College of Winterhold, which I think is very fitting since it's since it's winter at the moment, and and particularly right right now it's cold and snowy outside, and and I feel like it'll take us mostly through January and February to do the College of Winterhold, and so yeah, let's turn back. Was that you, Lydia? Did you just? Did 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 someone just say turn back? Oh my gosh, like I'm I'm genuinely frightened right now. That was so creepy. It said that, right? It said turn back. While I was talking about spending the winter in Winterhold. But okay, here we are. <laughs> let's stop talking about that and let's look at Arkanthams. There is There's a creepy woman out here that just said turn back. Okay, and the world is shaking again. I'm really, like, genuinely nervous right now. <laughs> that was creepy. Okay, um, at the moment, I'm I'm kind of, like, going down into this little stream. And, and I'm just investigating. Oh, a common soul gem from this spider. 
and and something else I picked up. I don't know what it was. Dwarven oil. Okay, yeah. Um, this is your typical Dwemer ruin, but it's very green and it's kind of foggy. Wait a second. I have subtitles on, right? Yeah, I do have on subtitles. I swear it said turn back. I know I was turn back before it's too late. That was it again. Okay, and that's not Lydia talking. I'm right behind you. Lead on. You know what? That voice kind of sounds like Lydia. I wonder if it's the same voice actress. Um All right, well, we're not turning back. Oh, Dwarven Guardian. All right, right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, there, um, um, there's a Dwarven Spider and a Dwarven Sphere already destroyed, so someone's already been here. Waiting to hear if there's going to be something else. Okay, the, um, this opens up into a very large chamber and looks like there are fall that there, there is falmer construction on the far side all right another little earthquake there there's some stairs up here what does this do another dead dwarven spider with a couple of soul gems and and some, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, malachite ore. It's whatever you use to make glass armor and glass weapons. <gasps> There's a name. Okay, um, Catria. Cataria. What are you Ooh. still doing here? It's a ghost! Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all the others. Who are you? And her name is, um, is Katria. The name's Katria. I am, was, an adventurer. Raided ruins like this for nigh on 20 years. But then she took an arrow to the knee, am I right? something big. It led me here, and I didn't make it. Your name sounds familiar as an option. It doesn't sound familiar to me, unless it fits the name of the... Of the Emperor's ship. Your name sounds familiar. Oh, you read the book, didn't you? The Ethereum Wars. Oh, yeah, there you go. That was my theory, you know. My research, my life's work, all of it lost, stolen by my own damn apprentice. Was it Malkarin? That's how I ended up here. I can't rest. Not until I find the forge, until I can prove that it was my discovery. Mine, not his. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. <laughs> I can handle myself. Sure, that's what they all say. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? No, ma'am. I know, I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? Of course, yeah. Sure. All right. Lead on, then. All right. We now have a team of three. And then if you put Addy into the mix, we have a team of four. All right. We started the quest Lost to the Ages. Reached the summit of Arkanthams. All right. Yeah. I, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I did not do any research. I only know it's about the Ethereum Forge just because, just because, um, just because, yeah, you just know things from Skyrim. So the Ethereum, the, the Ethereum Wars, the book, it's made, it, it was written by Tarin Dreth, and it says, um, dedicated to Katria, my friend and colleague. That's interesting. Uh, I just want a glimpse glimpse through this book I know gosh dang it I I so should have should have read this 
Okay, so um, by by an alliance of the four cities led by Arkanthams and the new Ethereum Forge was constructed to smelt. Does this say what the other four cities are? Because be because it's something about. I know we're gonna need to gather these these Ethereum shards. Okay, and that's the end of it. And we got one of them. I believe we got one of them when we went to Rald Bathar. And so that's one of them. Arkanthams is another one. This is kind of what I'm curious about. I wonder if we're going to need to go through two more Dwemer Ruins in order to complete this little quest. And that and that may be the case. And if it is, that's fine. We'll, we'll just have uh, Arkanthams chapters... One, two, three, four, pretty much. This is where I ended up. It was quite the fall. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, Navens from the editing room here. I just wanted to jump on in here and correct myself because I had just said that this is looking to be a four-part miniseries. I wanted to correct that and say this is actually going to be a two-part miniseries. In the next episode, we find the final two Ethereum shards, and then we find the Ethereum Forge. And then in the following episode, we will move on to our next big quest line. So I just wanted to correct that. Because I will say multiple times in this episode that this will probably be a four-part miniseries. Nope, it's actually going to be a two-part miniseries. And, and I also wanted to hop on here as well and, and just apologize <laughs> ahead of time. Because at the end of this episode, I just, start, I just start talking and I start repeating myself. And so I just wanted to apologize for the extensive amount of, of just babbling. <laughs> And I will try to take better care in future episodes and so I don't babble so much. So yeah, with all that said, let's get back into Arkanthams. This is where I ended up. Oh yeah. It was quite the fall. There is a dead body right here on this next landing down. Alright, she said grab her journal, we're gonna need it. So, so, this is Katria's body. I don't know why Katria's voice is so quiet. Voices are turned up right now. Alright, got some gold. I'm taking her gold. I'm taking her helium. I'm... <laughs> we are starting off already with the horrible fumble of words. I am taking her helium potions. <laughs> and a silver ring. Alright, so we're down on this lower level, and there are these, like, broken Dwemer pipes and pillars that are acting as bridges. And there are Falmer. There are dead Falmer around here. Falmer ear poison. Okay, I want to get down to this lower level. Alright, we're down here searching more Falmer. Now, how I get back up is going to be a, a mystery. Oh, and there's a chest right here. Glowing mushrooms that I can't pick. Petty soul gem and an amulet of Talos. Very cool. Oh, nice. Okay, Lydia and Katria are now in the water with me. Okay, let's... Another dead dwarven spider. So I assume this is probably Katria's work. She did all of this. Awesome killing. Okay, here we go. This is... With this is where, where I have to go. I have to go on the other side of this area. So yeah, um, down in the water, the, this place is flooded. And I'm now making my way up back to the top. It's through, through some of these broken plumbings that are being used as bridges. Alright, well here we go. Alright, we are, we, we are proceeding. Oh yeah, it's, a, it's one of those... Centurion Dynamo Cores. Can I grab that? I don't know if I can squeeze in here. I can! Oh, and Dwarven Metal Ingot. That's awesome. Okay, I don't like that noise. Whatever that was. 
Oh crap, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, now we can proceed. I'm, I'm sorry, I lied. I'm not, I'm, I'm still not out yet. Gosh dang it, what am I stuck on? Let me out of here. Oh great, I fell to the bottom. Oh, all right, we gotta go all the way around again. Back up this bridge. Lydia and Contria are gonna be like, what the heck are you doing? All right, here we go. Dwarven spider, two of them. That was a lovely shot. Ouch. All right, there is one. Lydia and Contria, if you guys wanna join at any time, that would be wonderful. All right, let's get some bound swords out. All right, another Dwarven Spider Worker. He's running from me. Got him. All right, so far so good. Uh, sure, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still gonna grab Dwemer Cogs. Which is also, which is also gonna be needed when we do the College of Winterhold quest line. Lydia and Katria are not following me. What the heck are you guys doing down here? They're both in the water. Guys, this is not that hard to figure out. Come on. Come to me. Katria's stuck behind a rock and Lydia's... Lydia keeps on glitching. They, they both keep glitching out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're both just... They, they they keep on getting stuck in a different part of the water, and then they keep on, like, glitching into existence. <sighs> Alright, fine. Let me get Addy ready. Because, clearly, <laughs> it's gonna be just us on this one. Lydia and, and Katria are... stuck. <laughs> Another dead sphere. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, this is a very deep room. Is there, any, is there anything in the water here? No, I don't see anything. Alright, let's hop up. Oh, no, I can't go that way. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Lydia's here! Alright, well, cool. Uh... I thought that she was like a Dwemer Centurion. That was kind of <laughs> creepy. Only because she is wearing Dwarven armor. Okay, so this is my next way up. I gotta run up this pipe here, right? This is this is kind of like a puzzle Arkanthams is here. Okay, yeah, we are running up this pipe alongside of the room. All right, we made it to the next step. If I can get down, that would be wonderful. Okay, yeah, we're up really, gosh. Lydia's not gonna follow that. Oh yeah, we just got Addy out right now. All right, so what do we have here? We have a door that keeps opening and closing. Okay, through some dwarven mechanism, it spins and the door opens. Okay. Well, we're now in the room. See that thing? Dwarves call them kinetic resonators. Don't see them very often, at least not among clans in Skyrim. Kinetic resonators. Just hit them, and they'll do whatever it is they're supposed to do. Well, like, uh, okay, so I guess. This is for if we don't have, um, this is if we don't have Katria here. This spinning mechanism example, opening up a door, it's nice that it shows us what it does. But Katria also just said, just hit it. It does whatever it does. It opens a door. Falmer up ahead, Katria said. Damn, things are like flies, no matter how many you kill. They always come back. It's pretty cool with these little kinetic resonators. They have little, um, 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 little like Ethereum, little, little like coins in them. It's pretty neat. 
small discs. There's a farmer. Let's get him. Attack. Oh, boy. There, there, there are a couple of them. Keep my distance. Oh, boy. That, I just took a big hit there. Is, 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 is Lydia gone? Good job, Katria. Two Falmer down. So, Lydia's gone. But, but, Katria's here. Let's get Addy ready. Gosh dang it. I was so excited about having a team of four to start this journey. But, now we're a... A stupid... Team of three. Be, 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 because we're either missing Katria or Lydia. <sighs> Good grief. Okay, we're in a big cavernous room now that basically busts through the ground below to a river full of, like, pipes and, and ruins. Dwemer ruins. And there's, and there's, like, a little Falmer village around here. We got Addy and my other bound sword out. Here we go, Katria says. That's right. Good deal. Falmer bows actually are not that bad. I mean, it's pretty close to my Finneriel's end. M maybe that's why Falmer arrows are junk, to kind of balance it out. Okay, where can we go in this big room? I don't see any other farmer. We're just walking on around. Do we gotta jump down to the level below? There isn't really a whole lot on this current level that I'm on. Oh gosh. I hope this The entire building's like slanted. I hope this doesn't give me a headache later. I'm someone that is definitely very very prone to motion sickness. And I mean sometimes games like these at time can give me a headache. Oh no. Okay, no 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 no. No, um um the far side that that's the entrance. Okay, so I'm just on the other side of this giant crevice. Okay, cool. So where do I go from here now? You know what? I'm now remembering the last time I did the Ethereum Forge quest, I did get a pretty big headache. So that's so, so that's wonderful. Oh gosh, I'm so dumb. Navens, just walk straight. The path is clearly just straight ahead. It's even more impressive before it all fell to pieces. That is very true. Yeah, um, I don't know if you guys can hear Kat um, Katria or not. She's talking very softly. But yeah, it said, um, she said this is quite a place. And that I've, sure, oh, okay. Palmer just jumped out of a hole in the wall. Backing up, backing up. Got him, soul captured, beautiful. Lydia's throwing fireballs at this guy. Dwarven arrow. There is one more Falmer and we're chasing him around. He keeps on running from from Addy's fireballs. Caught up to him, and we killed him. Soul captured. Beautiful. Let me just double check my my audio settings. Yeah, voice is all the way up. I don't know. It must it must just be that just specific. Just, like like just her. Oh, okay. It's a giant like centurion head crashing the ruins down there but yeah um katria said this is an incredible place now i should have seen it before it fell to ruins and it's like ain't that the truth this place is beautiful here um i i know where i need to go i'm just exploring a little bit this there there are so many like little passageways I'm going up. Ooh! A massive chunk of rock just 
fell. I don't know if I've ever actually seen that before. Like, we always, always hear the, the rumblings and whatnot. <gasps> okay, a Falmer, a Falmer, a Falmer. And a Charis. Oh boy, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, Charises are really bad. I almost fell off the bridge. That could have, that could have killed me to death. Oh, don't hit um, Katria. Oh yeah, double slicing him. Does that make you feel any better? What are you saying? Are you saying that my move was a bit cocky? Where the freak am I walking? I'm, I'm still on this path, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just walking up. Oh yeah, there's a farmer behind me, isn't there? Ah! He was be on behind me on the other side. I was not expecting him there. All right, he's dead. Good deal. Yeah. No, I I like this. I like this. We are still flowing very nicely. See, see, even the Falmer believe that their arrows are, are junk. All the Falmer that I'm fighting, they all have Dwarven arrows. Alright, I think I have reached the top of where I'm going. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. I have reached some sort of little, like, Falmer village. These Charises are the worst. They are disgusting little bug things. And they're quite difficult to kill. And they have Charis eggs. That's, a, that's an alchemy ingredient. This keeps going. What in the and it goes off in two different directions. No, 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 no. Okay, no. There are a bunch of charises back there. No, 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 no. I'm good. A chest though. I'll take this. Ah, uh, no. I want that. It was a potion of magic. <laughs> Doesn't I'm trying to be inside of this little teepee and and raid this chest. Cut. Cut. Tria walks in and with her bow. Let me out of here! Guys, I'm just trying to explore this area. Ooh, okay, we have trees here in this place. Because it opens to the outside. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I got stupid freaking Charis is chasing me. This Charis is getting arrows to the face! Alright. Getting sick of these stupid Charises. Kill them! Alright, that's it. That's all of them. So yeah, I'm I'm now in this cave. We are very high up. So I think looking way down, that's where we came in at. Oh, we're now up towards the top. If I fell, ladies and gentlemen, that would be awful. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking up at the sky. I, I, I love that Skyrim has these, like, breaks in the cave. And there are trees growing down here. It's nighttime, if you were wondering. Is the... No. I thought, I thought a moon was available. I thought that the moon was available. But no, it's not visible at the moment. Gosh, I'm still climbing. This little exploratory detour is getting nuts. But ladies and gentlemen, I think we're getting into some ancient Nordic. There's a flying banner. Is that Dwemer? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I've arrived at something. Um, because the cave was so long and I've arrived at something... I guess that, that means that there are two ways to get here. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at a massive wall. A ginormous wall, and it has um, one of those giant dwarven heads on it. And and it has one, two, three, it has like four, 
four, maybe five. Yes, there are five. Five of those spinning things that'll open doors. So I assume I have to hit them. Quick save, let's walk on down. Ah! Ouch. I fell a good distance there. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and there's an arrow telling me to stand here. Search skeleton. It's gonna try gonna, gonna, gonna tell me what to do. Well, we do have these spinny guys, so I assume I have to hit them. And th oh, oh no. Search adventurer. Scrap of paper. Is that a is that a note by chance? Is that in the books? Yes, yeah, scrap of paper. What is this? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Um, so so there is a lower row, a middle row, and a higher row. The Hold up. oh we need to talk. Okay. You know what this is? It's a lock. A tonal lock. A tonal lock. Simple. And very, very deadly. Okay. See the resonators up there. Strike them in the right order, and the door should open. Get it wrong, and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. Okay. Um. You mean the earthquake? Yeah. I thought I was prepared for anything. How can you prepare for a damned earthquake? And that was just one trap. Look around. Who knows what else this thing is capable of? Any advice? Hmm. Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Yes. Yes. Yes, they do. Okay. All right. So she attempted this, and so yeah, she must have had an earthquake, and she fell down to oblivion. Oh, okay, yeah, this is probably the other entrance. There, 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 there is another way in here. So yeah, so yeah, yeah, there probably were two entrances here. Um, but okay, yeah, as I was saying, there are three levels. The bottom level consists of three doors. The, the, and the mid level consists of three resonators. Those. Um, on those spinny things that 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 you hit to open doors and the top level consists of two resonators I see if you can find a pattern in the sequence most of these locks have a pack I get it some kind I get it yeah I'm, I'm I'm trying to explain to the listeners here and as I pull up scrap of paper it has it has like the resonators for the for the um, middle and upper level and it has a two in the right position on the mid level, and it has a three in the left position on the upper level. So if there's a sequence, it's two, it's two and then three, they're on those. And then Katria said if we look in her journal, <laughs> that was the letter um, telling me about Fandel's death. All right, this is Katria's journal. Uh, looking for, if I can find the forge first, I can show the world this is my discovery. Mine, not his. Oh, oops. So yeah, she's definitely not happy with her, with her dude. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I was thinking. Um. Yeah, okay, so there are five locations on this map. And it says number one is Arkanthams, is where we're at. Number two is Batharzel. That looks to be north of Markarth. Number three, it says the primary source of Ethereum extracted from some deeper mine. Number three looks to be around White Run Hold. Number four, a storage site for raw ethereum just outside of a major city that looks to be outside of windhelm that maybe is 
And I think I know of that Dwarven Ruin. I think that that one is called Mazolft. Um, apparently, it had to be kept outside of the Ethereum. Um, 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 out because uh, apparently it had to be kept outside because Ethereum was harmonically volatile. That's such an interesting thing. Um, and so like it's harmonically volatile, and right now we have the tonal lock. It's like everything is done with sound when it comes to Ethereum. And then there's one more location. Um, no name, no identifying information. But page after page of ruined diagrams. Couldn't make much out of it. Couldn't make out much. But it looks like an astrolab? An, an astrolabe? What? A gear, some sort of crest and four pieces. Could this be the location of the forge? Something important at least. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here is her diagram, and it, and it lists the five resonators and the five tones. All right, so this is Katria's diagram. The three across the top. No, no, the three across the mid-level and the two across the top. She has number one on mid-level left and number two on mid-level right. Our friend also had two on mid-level right. And then looks like... For for mid level center, she has done one, two, three. So 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 it's none of those. None of those worked. So mid level center has to be four or five. Okay. Okay. So we know it's mid level right, mid level left. Mid-level, well, no, top left. Mid-level center cannot be three, and so top right is three. No, it's not three. Okay, so yeah, it's just top right and mid-level center. One of those is four and one of those is five. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. All right, here we go. I love, I really love these kind of quests. Like it's so, it's it's such an interesting story. All right, here we go. We know mid-level left is number one. I got my bow out, we're gonna throw an arrow at it. Ooh, yeah, we had a nice little ding there. All right, now we have mid-level right. That's it? That's it, yes. Now we do top level left. If all else fails, just take a chance. See what happens. Yeah. You wouldn't be surprised if half the traps have been sprung by now. That's true. So... Keep going. So yeah, we have mid-level, center, and top-level right. One of these is four and the other's five, so yeah, let's take a guess. Let's just do mid-level, center. Oh, God. Uh oh Oh, no, that was wrong. All right, we have four dwarven spiders out now. Okay, yeah, we need to get... Let's get Addy out. Okay, well, hang on. Alright, yeah. We are down to our team of three because Lydia is Lord Knows Where. Because Lydia is Talos Knows Where. Yes, we are destroying dwarven spiders. Common soul gem, corundum ore, that's nice. Oh boy, jeez, another spider. Good deal. Oh yeah, I haven't really done, done much searching around here. Just looking around at stuff. All right, yeah, yeah, that's enough searching. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now know it. Um. Top level right is number four. So yeah, let's do this again. 
Mid-level left. Mid-level right. Good. Top level left. Almost. Top level right. I missed. So close. Mid-level center. Alright. Oh, okay. So, so, two of the doors open. There's still a center door. Oh, the center door. There's a centurion behind the center door. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the two outer doors open. And I received the next quest. Claim the treasure of Arkanthams. This is it. This is it. What is it? <gasps> it's another shard. It's another Ethereum shard. Alright, take Ethereum shard. So. It is real. What? What is this? Let me see it. Hmm. Look, on the edge here. This has been cut. Precisely cut. If you had another piece about the same size, it would... it would snap right in. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. It's... it's part of a key. A key made of pure ethereum. The key to the forge. Yes. So, what now? We have to find the other pieces, of course. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. There should be, hmm, three more. One for each of the four cities that worked on the forge. I had a map in my journal. That's where we should start. Yeah, um... Our next quest is search for the Ethereum shards, and it said we have two out of four. Because, yeah, we collected one in Raldbathar. I already have another shard. Really? Well, now that makes things easier. Then what? We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that, too. Ah, there's so much to do. I'm going to head out and start tracking things down. We'll meet again. I'm sure of it. All right, well, that's awesome. For the first time in a long while, I think I, we, may actually be able to do this. And, and I owe it all to you. Thank you. And she's gone. No problem, that's awesome. All right, we got a lot of amazing stuff around here now. We have Dwarven Metal Ingot, Dwarven Metal Ingot. Uh, Dwarven Metal Ingot. Another Centurion Dynamo Core. And more Dwarven Metal Ingot. And then we got a couple of chests here. Amethyst, Silver Ring. Ooh, a Circlet of Minor Alchemy. That's pretty cool. Potions are 12% better. Uh, a chest here in the middle. 200 gold, Spell Tome Candlelight. Dwarven Armor. I'm gonna pass on this Dwarven Armor. It's so freaking heavy. An elven bow. <laughs> uh, robes of restoration, and that's good. And then, oh yeah, one more chest over here. Silver ruby ring. Donor cog. Dy Dynamo core. A lot more dwarven metal ingot. Alright, amazing. And that's it. And Katria left. And we didn't... <laughs> And we didn't disturb that, uh, that Centurion, which is amazing. Alright, so yeah, I guess, I guess I go back out the way I came in, if, wherever that is. <laughs> it was kind of tricky to get in here in the first place. Maybe I go back out this way? Yeah, okay, yeah, there is this little opening over here in the water. Okay, yeah, I do remember this. I do remember I did I did clear Arkanthams, but I never proceeded. So, yeah, that that is why I, I, I was wanting to do this. Like, it's something... Oh, gosh. My exit's way down there. It's in the water, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think I can jump into the water? Let's quick save really quick. All right, here we go. To good health, jump. 
Aha! We did it! Is Lydia still down here in the stupid water? So yeah, I'm back at the entrance. Okay, so... So where do we have to go? I want to look at that map. Because, yeah, 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 this is kind of what I was thinking. I, I, for some reason, I didn't think we would find... Oh, there's Lydia. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Alright, so we didn't get to be a team of four this episode. That's kind of sad. Yeah, let me, uh... Let me take a look at this, at this map. So, yeah, what's gonna be next? Okay, so, so, yeah, here's our map. We're at, we're at number one, which is Dark and Thams. Number three... I'm gonna go outside and look at this. <laughs> so, so I can pull up my world map and have that for reference. Is this gonna be an easy way out? But, but, yeah, this is gonna be, um... Th this'll probably be a three-part... Um, uh, this will probably be a four-part series because we have Ark and Thams. We've already investigated. Um, here we go. We're we're back outside. It's a beautiful and, it, and it's a be oh um, um it's an overcast day, but it's still pretty outside. We have already found one 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 piece in Raldbathar. I'm gonna pull up the map here. How do I zoom out? Okay, I don't know how to zoom out. But yeah, okay. So yeah, Rald Bathar over there. Next to Windhelm. There's nothing on the map, however. Alright, back in the journal. I love this, like, hunting, problem-solving stuff. This is a lot of fun. Alright, so we have number one, which is Arkanthans. We've done that already. We've already been to number... Number three. Primary source of Ethereum extracted from some deeper mine. That's Raldbathar. We've already done that. We now have to do number two, which is up in the north... Um, which is up in the northwest. Probably north of Solitude. No, I'm um, north of uh, Markarth. Then we need to do number five, which is like in between like Falkreath and Riften. And then we need to do number four, which I believe number four is Mazolft, and that is to the east of Windhelm. The one east of Windhelm is not on the map. Let's see if the south one or the north one is. Is there one up north here? No, there's... There's nothing undiscovered on the map. So yeah, this is going to be some serious hunting. And there's not one south on the map either between between Riften and Falkreath. Hmm. So yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm going to have a little bit of running around to do. In order just to just just to locate those. Oh wait, actually no. Hang on. Is it, it will the game tell me? Let's see. Lost to the ages. So it is an active quest. But yeah, it's not giving me. It's not giving gi giving me any markers. And you know what? You know what? I really like that. And and I remember people saying that they, um, 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 people who have played Morrowind or Oblivion, they say they don't like all of the markers that that Skyrim gives you, and you're not really able to hunt for things anymore. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are we are definitely gonna have to hunt for things here now. Because, yeah, we, we are not given quest markers. But, yeah, I think that this is going to be 
a four-part episode. This is part one, and we went to Arkanthams. We already have a second Ethereum shard that we got from Raldbathar. And now we still need to find two more shards and then the forge itself. So yeah, we're we Oh gosh, a stupid skeever. Get out of here. I'm I'm just running on over here because there's there's another dwarven building right here. Reachwind Eerie discovered. Open Reachwind Eerie. What is this? Oh, yeah, it's a spiral staircase. Oh, yeah, it really is a tower. These dwarven dressers are so... They they honestly remind me of... Uh, of Bioshock, kind of. Petty Soul Gem. Ooh. Cheermar Vimidium. Heavy armor increase. What is that? Oh, Ancient Tales of the Dwemer, part six. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, this is an episode of me kind of really just like immersing myself here in uh in the dwarven story and dwarven lore. All right, so we have the shimmer or the chimer, whatever you call it. Or else, rather, whatever it's called. And it looks like um, this... They're talking about something called the Chimar of Amidium. I wonder if that is something like what people call, like, the Brass Giant or the Brass Tower. Um, that the humongous robot from... Was that from Oblivion? A chest with an apprentice lock. First try. Ooh. A circlet of minor conjuration. Conjuration spells cost 12% less. That's awesome. And then just a circlet. Nice. Now I'm looking. Now I'm going to the overlook. Oh, yeah. This is cool. Just a little. Ooh. A bird's nest with a bird egg in it. I took the bird egg. We have another chest out here with an expert lock. Great. <laughs> Oh, come on. There it is. Centurion Dynamo Core, Lesser Soul Gem, uh, Scroll of Mayhem, and then Armor of Minor Restoration. That's awesome. What do you mean I'm overweight? What do I have that's so freaking heavy? Oh, I, don't, I don't remember even picking up anything that would be heavy. I don't need these fine clothes. I don't even know how or why I picked those up in the first place. Uh. Gosh, I'm scrolling through all my stuff. I don't know what's so heavy. Yeah, yep. Yep, I have two Ethereum shards. That's awesome. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, Dwarven Scrap Metal. I don't need that. Uh, a lot of filled soul gems. I have a plate. Don't know why I have that. Alright, fine. I'm making Lydia carry stuff. I need you to carry stuff for me. How can I serve you, my Thane? Take I pick I, I picked up more dwarven cogs. That's probably what's so heavy. That's all right. You lead, I'll follow. Yep, I can dump stuff later. All right, I'm just jumping off the side here. Here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. And that and that was a neat little tow tower thing that we just checked checked out right there. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to go off and find one of the other two 
Ethereum shards wherever I can find it. <laughs> and then um, um, and then in part four of this little Ethereum series, we will we will venture out to find the Ethereum Forge itself. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you enjoyed. I am Mr. Navens, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>